viral attention for sharing her regrets about ditching the idea of marriage and family. Now, her article in Business Insider reads, quote, I'm 38 and single, and I recently realized I want a child. I'm terrified that I've missed my opportunity. That woman's name is Melissa Persling, and she's revealing to Fox News Digital what she thinks caused her current situation. Listen. I feel unbelievably betrayed by feminism. I was constantly fed this idea that women can do everything. We don't really need men. Women can, women can have the great career and, and have the kids that they like and change the tires and do this. I mean, I grew up thinking, and men are great, but like I can do all the same things. I do feel in many ways betrayed by that line of thinking. I kind of want to go back to some of those, some of those teachers and coaches and, and say, what the hell did you mean by that? Because women can't do it all. I, we can't. Katrina, what are your thoughts on this? Okay, I'm going to go deep here. So I have a lot of opinion on this, and I really think that feminism in some ways has really sabotaged women's happiness. And the reason I believe that is because we are asked to do all these different things, right? But then our nervous system goes whack. Like, I know for myself, I'm in work mode and then mother mode and then family mode, right? And so your system just completely goes out of whack, which is why I truly believe, and I found this quote and I thought it was so telling, is that the divine feminine is the rawest, wildest, and most honest mirror a man will ever encounter. The awakened man opens his heart and goes to battle. He will tame his dragons and face his deepest shadows, since he knows that deep within, her heart will guide him home. And I think that there is a beautiful balance between the feminine and the masculine energy. And I know that as a woman, regardless of what any woman says, I think she wants to feel safe with a man, and she wants to be able to feel her feminine energy, but it's very difficult to go into that space when you're trying to fulfill all these different roles, which is what I think this woman is feeling right now, which is what I think a lot of women, right, in very powerful positions are feeling. And then there's this idea that if you're powerful, you can't be, you know, a beautiful wife mm. or a beautiful mother. And so I think we need to go back to really the way God designed us to be, which is as women, we, we need men. And it makes for a beautiful balance. Chris, something that struck me about this is something that Katrina mentioned earlier, which is your influences start in the home. So my, my, the moral of this story to me was that she felt betrayed by her influences. But if she had been influenced a certain way in the home, then there wouldn't have been confusion. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. And, and I, I really like the points uh, you, you just made. I, I think that, um, you know, this is a little bit of a, a weird topic for me to talk about. But I, you know, what, we grew up with parents. I grew up with parents that had my brother and I, when they were in their early 20s, okay? And that was, a, that was their decision, that was great. Um, my wife, Lily, uh, decided to, uh, she, she's an entrepreneur. She built her business in her early 20s and early 30s, and we didn't have kids till we were in our mid-30s. And she struggled with this uh, early on a little bit, but mm -hmm. this is where I think, as a man, and as her husband and her protector, I take my personal responsibility to be her greatest advocate and her greatest cheerleader for everything that she's doing, everything that she's accomplished, everything she has to balance as a woman. Uh, and, I, and I think more men should take that responsibility. Not that I'm on this high horse or anything. I'm just saying I do think that it's a, the role of a man to do that. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.